Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for some of you. Welcome to your daily messages, loves. Today, March 1st. Came spring for some of you. For some of you, will come a little bit later. March 1st starts a new chapter, a new month for some of you. And for some of you, it's still coming in. Let's see loves. Daily message for the Monday. And let's see here how the weeks come forward to. And how this energy is surrounding and benefit you, loves. And let's see, loves. Always, always know the daily messages are those type of energies which are coming in right now at this time. And is not affiliating for whatsoever with any particular zodiac. Because I got uh, so many messages in the email that could this day resonate with me? Can I take this message? And my zodiac this is, but you said that. Yes, don't stick too much with the zodiac science I'm mentioning. Because many, many of you, you might have those science. For others of you, the person or people involved into the situation might have it, okay? And sometimes that's how the energy comes, loves, all right? Let's see. The first card we have, Porcupine Spirit, time for beginner mind. It's not that beautiful, loves, because I feel here, as you know, four and eight, makes 12 and one plus two makes three the third month and yes is the first of march the next card we have whale spirit trust the great mystery and beaver spirit lay a solid foundation Whatever you start now, my loves, trust the divine and trust that is something strong, solid, sturdy. And beggar spirit, be fearless and bold. It's kind of like, don't look for setbacks, just go forward. Bold energy here, my loves. It's like nothing can stop you unless you want that stop. Underneath we have 52... Scarab Beetle Spirit, magic work through you. Whatever it is here, you are the one who holds the driver's seat. Okay? Whatever you start, whatever you have in plans, whatever you want to do at this time, Spirit says, trust into the mystery, but most likely trust into your own abilities, in your own energy. And this is very encouraging energy, actually, because for some of you, you might feel a little like, well, it doesn't really work this way and it's not kind of, you know, but Spirit says, go ahead. Don't be afraid to go and make that move and do it for your own self. Whatever it is, whatever you want to do, loves. But let's see. What do we have here for you and where we go? And the reason I need to redo this reading because I've done one yesterday. And for what so reason the file got corrupted and then my internet got shut down. I couldn't upload and was quite hard to and I was like well retrograde is gone we have been in post shadow for a little but now is the movement and probably the full moon and I was like well 
let's not get excuses let's do it again and let's see here what's the energy falling for you loves and start with a very positive note loves and yes with who i'm talking right now there is opportunities there is good things coming in and spirit says you gotta be unstoppable it's like it's not whatever you are don't stop because whatever you do now whatever you work on now it's absolutely awesome overall energy here ten of wands very busy Indeed here, somebody here feels like everything is on my shoulders. It's quite hard, but you know, if it will be easy, everybody can make it. Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Ace of Cups. It's kind of like, whatever you do is not just in vain. Even you, you might not see your effort, but Ace of Cups coming up. Page of Wands. There's new beginnings, new things. And there's a lot, a lot of energies coming towards you. I might speak with a fire sign. This is my Leo card. Queen of Wands. But I feel here as well, for many, many of you, you are... Star working could be a few weeks, no more than two months. You keep doing something and you, you keep seeing like zero results or very minimal results. Spirit says, hanging there, even you don't see it, it is coming something great. And it's coming within this month. Let's see here what this is for and how the energies are. Yeah, I feel here you don't see whatever is there for you or whatever it's coming. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Sun. It's something here indeed. You you feel like, well, I don't feel this will, will ever be for myself. Justice. Ten of Cups, another ten. Emperor. Hierophant. Queen of Pentacles. And Queen of Swords. Alright, loves. Indeed, there is something new. Happy. And we have three queens. The Queen of Cups is missing, which is about all love. Self-love, self-care. And we have three tens. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords is missing. Which that very much speaks about. Take care of you. And take care of your heart. And as well, don't follow for what is not for you. Be true, authentic to yourself. But indeed here, there is something here you don't see coming in for you. With this two of swords, eight of swords, even ten of wands. Let's do some clarifications and see. You might not see. There is coming some messages here. Also, there is something here you work hard for. And might be a lot of good abundance coming towards. Two of swords... Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords. Five of Swords. And the Chariot. Underneath we do have the Archangel Michael Temperance. There's something here you, you need to do for yourself with this Cancerian energy that what is telling you that to have faith in the move 
and to be patient with the process. Also, whatever project you have, keep it for you. And as well, you don't need to tell to somebody or to explain yourself to whomever is close to you. Because I feel here, there is something here, somebody here tried to tell you, you are not for this, you are not for that. You know, that's kind of people. Because whatever they believe, they know there's better things, whatever it is. That's what the Spirit says, stand up for yourself, but don't lower yourself. See the move. And don't stay there. Because I feel here is just one step till you get whatever you need to. But again, that's the bold energy of the emperor. You know better what is there for you and what works for you. Okay? For some of you, there is a specific person here, my loves. But I feel here you are not at the same page with this person. That's why whatever is here, you need to stay in charge, kind of. It's like you are in charge with your happiness. You are in charge of balance and stability. Okay? Not anybody else. Ten of Wands, clarifying here, please. Knight of Pentacles, one more card. And Page of Cups. Somebody here might come very slow to you and apologize. Eight of Swords. Hermit Eight of Cups and Ace of Wands. Underneath we do have the world. So clarifying this ten of Pantic ten of Wands. We got the Knight of Pentacles and Page of Cups. There is something here that you you try hardly to do on your own. And I feel here, as the Spirit says, keep doing that. Because whoever comes around or pretend to come around, they will not help you too much. Okay? So that's why I always say you are the one who makes the lead. And Eight of Swords, we have the Hermit, Eight of Cups, my apologies, and Ace of Wands. That very much speaks that whoever comes here and to try to give you a hand or whatever they try to, it's small. And also, it's, it's another thing here that you might not see at all that this it's coming. But the thing is, whoever here tries to help you, is actually not helping you okay it's kind of they want to take you from the impasse or from the trouble or whatever it is but you will not get too much it's actually it's the one who will bother you more than help you okay and I feel here as you see the things in one way they see it in a totally different way for some of you, you you might feel like, well, this person, I didn't see them coming, but look, they are for with good intentions. 
which later on you'll realize that we are not. We are not quite there. You might think they come in here to hand you some help, but actually they are not. Even when we have two aces here, the energy here is quite different. It's like what they say is not what they do. And that's the thing here with the world. There is something here you, you need to recognize. I am in control. I got to do the things the way I am. I don't need to change just because somebody think is not correct. So it's like be firm for your own good, for your own happiness, for your own abundance. All right, loves. Because I feel here for some of you, you might feel like, well, maybe they have a good idea, but... I don't see it working. So to, to recap whatever I say here, as the Spirit says, whatever you do now, do it on your own or the way you see. Because the way you see, it's way better than the other person sees it. And will be for your own good. Whatever you want to do. Regards a work situation, a job situation, a new beginning in any field. Because I'm feeling here in just a few weeks, could be a few months. Indeed, you'll feel like, well, it's good that I've been seeing the things the way I've seen it. That's kind of like, it's good that I've been clearly seeing it. And whatever I'm going to, it's totally only about me. And my own solid foundation. So indeed here, there's a person who does want to do a lot of things but it's kind of like spirit says to listen to yourself not to others and it's kind of stick with your plan or your plans or your gut because that's it's for you not for them Let's see here, one advice, even you know it, one advice or one message the universe want to send to you at this time. Queen of Cups, this is the last queen we have, which that's what we speak about. Self-love, love yourself more than anything and anybody. Five of Wands. Other people, that's what I'm saying. Two of Wands. Be firm in your decisions because it's for your own good. This is happy, happy energy, very happy. And underneath we have Lovers, which is choices. Again, I made my choice and I gotta stick with it. And whatever here, whatever and whoever doesn't agree with is none of my business. That's, that, that's very firm energy here. Because I feel here, whatever it's coming towards you is to, to not help you, actually to bug you, actually to get from you. Okay, so that's why the Spirit says, be bold, trust in your intuition, because only at the end is you who will benefit from, not anybody else. 
and that's the happiness here that's very very good energy here so that is the message I have for all of you loves and also let's get some energies for each zodiac sign as we have the 1st of March today let's do a few energy for each zodiac sign and what messages we can get to see ahead for this week coming up for some of you might be just the energy we get this time at this time of the day and for some of you will be the energy for the week let's see here Aries I will put all zodiacs here for you guys to see it and let's see here the energy is for the Aries page of wands king of pentacles queen of swords and ace of wands all right Aries I feel here there is a few messages coming in through Okay, for some of you, you might flirt with somebody at your work. I will suggest whatever you feel, but it's kind of like whatever flirt coming towards you at a work, especially at work. Try to be very clear with that person because I feel here this could go a little too far and you don't want any problems whatever you are at work okay it's kind of like cut through BS and speak professional or be professional and things like that because indeed here somebody kind kind of try to cross the boundaries okay so you need to be very clear with them what they need to hear or to expect from you there's a very strong message for whoever is, is, you know, resonating. That could be an, a Libra, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or another fire sign. Okay. Taurus, let's see here you. What's the vibes here for you? Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, and Justice. Underneath we have... King of Cups. We have Water Sign, Libra, Sag. Doesn't need to be this. Somebody has this in their chart. But somebody here comes back because they feel like it's not fair towards them. Whatever it is here, they are a little conflicted. And I feel here this person is meant to come around to... It's kind of like they, they feel it's something here not... A give and take or it's not fair whatever happened what I will say here is like this person is kind of like attacking you know it's like a lion attacking here but the, the thing is like this person feels like I, I need to say this because I can't go forward okay so there is something here it's not about you it's about them something okay Gemini let's see here you loves what do you guys have here Gemini Emperor chariot moon wow there's three major arcanas and underneath we have ten of cups whatever you have in plans to do to make spirit says don't be afraid to go ahead with their plans okay because if you'll hesitate that will not be helping you so keep going because your happiness your good energy is coming so don't be afraid to go forward either you have travel plans either you you want to go and do something either you want to purchase something whatever is here 
the message for you is don't be afraid to move forward. Don't be afraid to go ahead. Even you don't, you, even you have some doubts, whatever it is, you hand everything in your hands. Okay. So this is something here, a very spiritual energy here. We have major arcanas, which is quite strong. Cancerian. Let's see here, you loves, what we have for you. For some of you Geminis, that's a very challenging month for you. But now we are the Cancer. Cancer, strength, good world, page of swords, five of swords. Whatever is here, if you end something here with somebody, stay in your power, stay in your strength, stay in your energy. Because I feel here you, you will learn a lot staying this way or being in this energy. Because I feel here there's a lot of things or a lot of people don't agree with your decision or whatever you do. But I feel here, whatever you do here, it's for your own good. Somebody here is still watching you, is still keeping an eye, or is still like, well, let me see what they will do. Spirit says, learn from this experience and know that you are way bigger, way stronger than whatever was. Don't pay attention to what other people are out there for. Leo. Leo, my darling, let's see. What do we have here? Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Six of Wands, wow. Three of Cups. If you just met somebody at this time, it seems to me that the conversation, the talk, it's great. The movement forward, you feel very confident that this will go forward. I feel here very soon, if it's a distant connection, very soon you will see this person or will be a meeting. It's most likely by the next holiday or within three months, the most. But I feel here there is something here which is kind of like, well, I'm all in. It's kind of new love for me into your life. Messages, love messages. Looks good, looks firm looks confident so good job loves good job virgo we are here for you we just passed a full moon in virgo and especially those of you who have the moon in virgo will or be in hardly into that I am Virgo Moon and I felt it very strong. But let's see, Virgo, Star, Hierophant, and Ten of Cups. And underneath we have the Devil. There's something here about healing relationships, healing the things from your life, wanting a change. And it's feel like it's it's non-stop. I want it, I want it, I want it. You will get it, loves. I know you are the one who are dedicated, who are consistent. So keep doing what you do. But it's kind of don't do it over. Because there's something here with the devil energy here. It's like, don't cross the border. It's like, stay over there. It's like, if it's good, feel is good, keep it. If doesn't, it's kind of like, let's redo it. Let's remake it. Let's rethink it. Okay. There is something here you, you try to get. You will get loves. And I feel here there is something here you want to get through. For some of you, since Aquarian season will take you some time here. But it's kind of like we see Aquarius and we see Taurus. So from February till May, there's something here comes, okay? So keep the faith, loves. I feel here there is, there is a lot of faith here for you. Libra, what's that vibes for you? My darling Libras, what's going on here? Two of Swords, 
Four of Cups and Temperance. Seven of Pentacles. There is healing energy here in regards to something. Could be a third party. For some of you, you refused recently a third party or whatever somebody here offered to you was not for you good. And I feel here it's quite a hard time for some of you to, to not talk with this person. But Spirit says you have angels protecting you. Don't ignore this. Because whatever here is not for you, you kind of know. You sense it. So have patience with the time because whatever good to you, it's coming, will come in time. Okay? Scorpionic energy we have right now. Let's see. Scorpio, what's the vibes here? Let's see. Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles and Six of Swords. Five of Swords underneath. I feel here there is something here, confusion around, something here which doesn't work for you or feels doesn't work. Somebody here it's playing dirty or feels that is not for you anymore. I feel here whatever is here, there is movement. But it's kind of like not, right now it's a little confusion. It's like you, you don't really know. Should I stay? It's okay. Should I not? But Five of Swords, that's very much an assurance that somebody here plays dirty in this field. Whatever it is. Somebody here is not cooperating or somebody here is not in your own best interest, loves. So if it's a job situation, I feel here you, you will end up leaving and you will end up leaving in a very short time. You could work here three years, seven months or almost four years here but there is there is something here which tells you the only way is to keep moving or searching something better Sag you know that's kind, kind of the energy pick up sometimes we can pick up love sometimes pick up something else Sagittarius what's your energy here for you loves six of cups page of cups and three of cups. Somebody here comes with an apology, my loves. My my bring some, you know. Whoever comes and returns to you with an apology, it's like they want you back. But I feel here will be a little chaos. This back energy. Because I feel here, whoever comes back here, it's not welcomed, basically. It's not like you're not taking their comeback or their talk or their apology. It's not like that. But I feel here, whatever they caused you, whatever they've done here, will provoke others to be very conflicted. It's not only you, but I feel here there's a lot of energy around this person which tells you it's good to take the apology but just that's it kind of could be a war sign but indeed here sages prepare yourself for an apology or to see somebody from your past okay there is somebody here you know for quite a while for others of you sages for others of you, there is a past life soulmate coming towards you as a friend which can go forward into our more than friends. Okay? This is a past life. For those of you who are not dealing with absolutely with anybody, from the past. This is a past life soulmate. We are friends and then we can be a little bit more or we are more than friends later on. Although you may feel very different at first but later on it's a blend in. And whatever it is, the next holiday you will see this person. Capricorns, sometimes we get even two messages for some of you. 
let's see here, Capricorns here. Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Tower, Bam, King of Cups. All right, Capricorns, I really love the King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Somebody here might get married this month. You don't expect it, might be a wedding, a marriage. There is something here unexpected coming to you. And somebody said in the comments, why Capricorn has that negative energy? Well, I don't pick every time the, the best of the best energy. Sometimes it's coming something else. But at this time, Capricorn, I will congratulate for those of you who don't expect to get married. But I feel here this is your life partner. There is some somebody who, which is a very good match. I don't feel you expect this from this person. Whoever he is, could be a Scorpio, could be a water sign, could be the fire sign, doesn't matter. But I feel here there is some type of event you do not yet expect or see, which is good. It's a very good one. Aquarius. What do we have here for you, Aquarius? What's the energy here? Devil, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Whatever you are, Aquarius, with who you are surrounding, I feel here it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person here. I feel here you, you do more than this person do for you. So what I'm seeing here, yes, it's a strong attraction energy. Okay, but there is something here toxic about this person. So it, it seems to me that it feels too hard, too much on your shoulders. Whatever is here, yes, it's a practical thing, but is not emotionally fulfilling to you. So if you are dealing here with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, yes, there is a lot of physical attraction between you two, but it feels like you... You're more by yourself than with this person. Something here, it's in regards addictions. And also for some of you Capricorns is like, even this person feels like work, this relationship. It's, it feels something here not quite right. So figure it out, loves, okay? And the Pisceans. Happy birthday, loves. I have my daughter a Pisces I'm a Pisces North Node which you know South Node is what you've done past life North Node is what you need to do this life and my North Node is in the Pisces which that very much speaks what I'm doing and here I am Pisces we have Knight of Wands for you Knight of Cups and Ace of Swords Hangman here. Underneath we have Queen of Pentacles. There's something here doesn't really quite work between you and whoever. You might deal here with the Sag, doesn't need to, but I feel here the passion and love, it's quite off at this time. If I will see this two knights coming together, that will be something else. But I see here there's something here that doesn't really work. So with who you are dealing here, you gotta figure out clearly you gotta talk with them honestly and see what doesn't work there is something here as we've seen the hangman the 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 second card here actually the fourth card is there is something here doesn't work the way it needs to or the the way gotta be so it's kind of like put the truth on the table there's a big, big thing here about communication. Straightforward or honest communication. So here we are, loves. I hope you enjoy this reading, this energy. And if you feel that this speaks to you, let me know down below. And of course, we'll see you next time. My apologies for the delay and blessings to all of you. Namaste.